Okay, for the next element of art, I want to speak about texture. And I'm going to put in pattern with that pattern. Pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, uh, texture, there's two different types of texture there's actual and implied. Implied. Okay. So, actual is sort of like the texture you can actually feel. Like, um, I don't know, this rubber band is sort of soft and stringy, right? Um, implied texture would be um, creating the illusion of uh, texture like you know this maybe you could make it like that and you, oh I feel the oh it's a smooth paper but it feels it looks like it's uh, you know rocky or spotty or hairy or something like that stubbly stubbly is a good one um, so that's the difference between actual is really like saying 3D and implied is 2D, three-dimensional, two-dimensional. Um, with pattern, uh, this is something, you guys know what pattern is. I, I want to just talk a little bit about the technique you could use for pattern. Um, you kind of want to, when you're using pattern, to follow the rhythm. And so if I'm going to create a pattern, I want to do the same thing at one time. So I do a line of, say, hash marks. And then say, I want to create this other, this, I don't know, I can do, you can do whatever kind of pattern you want. Now I'm going by, and I'm going to try to do the same, I'm a little sloppy here, got this weird angle. So what I'm doing here is each time I do a line, I'm doing the same thing in repetition. So pattern is repetition, but as opposed to doing this, doing this style, I come down, do this, I do that, I do this. And it's not that you can't do this, it just doesn't have the same, this is pretty sloppy, but it doesn't have the same sort of continuity. It's a lot more challenging to try to get it all the same. This is going to be a little bit more of a rhythm. So that's just a little bit of a trick.